All right, folks, it's time to fly fast jet to Johannesburg, my first time in South Africa. And it'll be cool to see what this airline is like. It's actually an airline that was started by the owner of EasyJet. He had a majority stake anyway. I'm not sure if he still does. Uh, let's see, this is Addis Ababa. This is not the right gate. I gotta go find gate eight now and uh, fly the little airline with a parrot on the tail. It's another ERJ 145. Always fun, naturally, I'm in the back. I'm surprised to find that my flex fare got me lounge access out of Victoria Falls today. The lounge is nothing special, but that's an unexpected bonus. This cabin looks fresh and clean. The seats are in great shape. From the easy check-in on the app to the lounge access and the initial boarding experience, I am thoroughly impressed with FastJet so far. In the interest of safety, please only place large items of hand baggage into the overhead lockers and small items, including handbags, laptops, and juicy free items underneath the seats in front of you. So care we need to the lockers in case anything falls out. Climbing up to a cruise altitude of uh, 36,000 feet. The weather en route is uh, fine weather conditions, clear skies for our routing and a bit of uh, light turbulence to be expected uh, shortly after our departure out of Victoria Falls until we in the uh, higher levels, a bit of smoother air up there. Morgan, our cabin crew member, looking after your safety and comfort. My name is Jacques van der Wetter, the captain of the flight with me up front is uh, Michael Thompson, my colleague. Mike will be doing the flying for us to Johannesburg and chat to you once we in the cruise. Enjoy the flight with us. This flight will take about an hour and a half. Let's get going, shall we? This seat does not recline, but that doesn't really matter. And it's another surprisingly full service experience, even though this is supposed to be a low cost carrier. A snack box and drink is complimentary and it's full of stuff.
By the way, this is what it looks like when a GoPro goes haywire. So much for a full flight time lapse. I think I'm gonna switch to the DJI. There's not much else to do but watch out the window as Zimbabwe recedes and we enter South African airspace. Soon enough, the massive city of Johannesburg comes into view. Then it's a gusty landing onto runway 03 right. Okay, here's a quiz for you true av geeks. Who knows what these A340s are doing parked here? And who owns them? So that was a nice flight on fast jet. Not much to say about it really. It's one of these, except that I'm pretty blown away continuously here at getting offered free snacks and coffee and water and extra if you want it. And all of these flights, whether it's low cost or not, uh, long cry from what's going on in Europe and most of the US. So nice flight, easy flight. That plane was in much better condition than the Air Zimbabwe Air J. Both for fun in their own ways, and now I'm in South Africa for the first time. If you find yourself here at OR Tambo Airport, don't miss the viewing area upstairs from the check-in desks. It's enclosed by glass, so not as good as being outside, but you can still see quite a number of interesting aircraft out here. And thanks to local Flight Radar 24 user Vian, who pointed out this intriguing aircraft flying overhead. 
We wondered why it seemed to be doing some kind of a high-level fly past, but in the end it landed at a military airfield not far away. Thanks a lot for joining today. In Johannesburg for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.